previously on Pro Street Outlaws. So that's where we left it. Big Bishop and the Hammer sitting one, two on top of the list. Let's take a look at the rest of the list and how it played out. Sitting in 10th, in the gatekeeper position, that is end count. Ninth, Big Romy. Eighth, Rowan. Seventh, Pre-Bird. Sixth, Craigster Sr. Fifth, Chicken George. Fourth, Lion McBrien. Third, because the Grey Wizard in the van. Second is the Hammer. And your number one position, King of the Pro Street Outlaws, Big Bishop. It's been a while, but it's time we dust these puppies off and put them back on the street where they belong. We went out and found ourselves four teams to vie for a shot to challenge the list. Let's take a look and see what they brought to the table. Our first team is SST Diecast Racing. There are another team local to the Low Country here in South Carolina. They brought with them this sinister looking Dodge Viper driven by Johnny Smoke. Our next team is Rusty Rod Racing. They made the trek all the way from Ohio. Rusty Rod Racing has brought this Dodge Challenger to do battle, driven by Bandit. If you recognize this third team, it's because they were eliminated in the qualifying rounds while establishing the list. They came right back to try to save face to see what they could do and challenge the list. Straight out of Texas, it's Cash Money Boys. Not to be outdone, Cash Money Boys brought their own Dodge Challenger, a blue one, driven by Cash Money. Racing out of the Carolina to the north, it is Knobby Ridge Diecast. Knobby Ridge Diecast has built this stunning Plymouth GTX piloted by Victor Fastlane.
So that is it. Those are your four entries set to battle it out on the streets of Boomtown. Oddly enough, Mopar is on the menu tonight. Each one of these cars is a Plymouth or a Dodge. So those are your entries. Let's head down the streets and line them up. Don't forget, the first to two wins moves on. Alternating lanes between passes. The red car in the left lane is Victor Fastlane. To his right, Cash Money. Lane three is Bandit. And on the right, it's Johnny Smooth. Light him up. Tight race. And at the line, it is Cash Money Boys by a half a car over Victor Fast Lane and some contact between Bandit and Johnny Smoke. Let's take a look at that again in slow motion. Looks like everybody got out of the hole and over the hill pretty quickly. Cash Money jumps out to a lead with Victor Fastlane right on his heels. Contact between Bandit and Johnny Smoke pretty much ended any chance for them. So after the first pass, Cash Money's got to be feeling pretty good about his chances. Let's see if he can get it done on a second lap. All the drivers have switched one lane to the left with Cash Money on the left, Bandit in second, Johnny Smoke in third, Victor Fast Lane on the right. Wow, some hard contact in the town side lanes makes it easy work for cash money. Let's take a look at that pass again in slow-mo. Right out the gate, Johnny Smoke gets loose over the hill. Victor Fastlane gets out ahead, but not quite as far as cash money, who puts on the afterburners and runs straight and on a rail. Victor Fastlane and Johnny Smoke get together, and Bandit's panging it off the curb. There you have it, cash money, making it look easy, two in a row. Congratulations to cash money. Him and his team have redeemed themselves and now have a chance to challenge the list. He made it look easy, he won two laps in a row and looked straight and fast. As for his competitors, Johnny Smoke, Bandit, and Victor Fastlane, they are getting run out of town. They are out of here. Give it another try and come back with something a little faster. So we have found ourselves a challenger for the list. Stay tuned to see how far cash money can take it and who else is going to advance on the Pro Street Outlaws. Till next time, we'll see you at the races.